It's not a secret that the world of athletics has been missing Usain Bolt since his retirement. I mean, he's the best athlete the track and field has ever seen. But following his exit, the question arises, who's gonna step up? Who's gonna take the mantle as the fastest man in the world? It seems pretty clear when you're talking about the fastest man in the world, you look straight at the 100 meters. And the 2018 Diamond League champion in that event is American Christian Coleman. Coleman, through an injury-ridden season last year, was still able to come back and win the Diamond League final in a personal best of 9.79 seconds, staking his claim as the owner of the 100-meter crown at this point. And a half player, and look at the clock, 9.78 for Christian Coleman. So, so impressed with me against a great field. Another cool fact about him, he's the only man that could say, every time I raced Usain Bolt, I never lost. But look at Coleman running away from Bolt. Another American that could be possibly crowned the fastest man in the world is Noah Lyles. Lyles has made it very clear that he isn't shy of the spotlight, from his pre-race antics to his post-race escapades. Noah Lyles. This is a man that is very comfortable being a showman. A 200 meter specialist, but has proven to be a legitimate threat in the 100 meters, opening his season with a blistering 9.86 seconds. And it could be Lyles! Wow, what a finish! Recently, a new player has come into the mix. First year pro Michael Norman, another American who just last season was competing for the University of Southern California. We can't overlook him as possibly being the fastest man in the world one day, as we just saw his 19.70 clocking over Noah Lyles at the Diamond League in Rome. And here he comes, but has he got time to get there? It's Norman versus Lyles, and Lyles, oh, it's close, I'm not gonna call it. And just in the last half a stride, Norman, shoved that chest of his forward. Norman is actually a 400 meter specialist, but he's shown he's got some foot speed with his performances in the 200 meters. I mean, Usain Bolt did start out as a 200 meter, 400 meter specialist as well. I'm just saying, you can't forget the sprinters who performed well recently at the big championships. I mean, you've got Justin Gatlin, the defending 100 meter world champion, and Canada's Andre de Grasse, who left the Olympics in 2016 with two medals in both the 100 meters and the 200 meters. But as far as who is truly gonna stake their claim as the world's fastest human, who's it gonna be?